and welcome to the Prophysics demo room here in Zurich, Switzerland. Prophysics is the distributor for Vicom products in German-speaking Europe, and uh, I have made an experiment here with uh, the new Vicom Tracker 3.0 software, which I'd like to show you. And I would like to show you the latest capabilities of the new Tracker software. Tracker 3 released uh, very recently, and uh, today what I'm going to do is try and track as many as 100 rigid objects. These are the objects that you can see lying on the floor in front of you. Each measures about 10 by 5 centimeters. Here they are. I'll zoom in on one of them so you can see what it actually looks like. So basically four markers on each and all arranged in a unique pattern for each and every one of them. All for my sanity I've also n uh, put a number on each of them which then corresponds to the number of the name um, I've used in the tracker software. So as you can see the tracker software is running on the screen here and um, I'll zoom in on it because I'm going to work a little bit in it just now. As you can see there are five, mar uh, five objects that I still have not defined, they're just there as unlabeled markers. Uh, the, this is on purpose because what I'm going to do now is just show you how quickly and easily you can define these objects by simply pausing tra the tracker, sweep selecting the markers you need for an object. Uh, if you need to you can type in the name for it uh, but I'll accept the default name and hit create Sweep select, create, sweep select, create, and so on until you've done all the objects you need. You've defined all the objects you need, and at this point, you can unpause tracker, and tracker will then go on and track as many objects as you have defined and of course as many objects as there are in the tracking volume. Tracker now has this new tracking mode which when you have defined all your objects you can engage this tracking mode and in tracking mode Tracker will uh, track objects rather than markers so you will no longer see any uh, unlabeled markers uh, but Tracker will go on and track objects even though even though they can only be seen by a single camera. Normally uh, any marker has to be seen by uh, at least two cameras but uh, trackers uh, tracking algorithm can cope with uh, a, an object being seen by only one camera and still keep track of the 3D position and orientation of the object. So here we are tracking 100 objects simultaneously and I'll go and move some of these around. As you can see on the screen, it also moves. I'll actually zoom out a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing on the floor as well. There we go. Okay, and I will maximize the workspace. There we go. So, what I'm going to do now is just show how capable this is at tracking stuff. So I can take an object out, bring it back in again. It's automatically then uh, um, recognized as you would expect. Similarly, you can take several objects out, bring them back in again. There it is, 87. 80, oops, 88 comes in, 89, and 90. Also, if you're worried about what Tracker does when objects get really close to each other, well, Tracker actually just copes. So, in this case, obviously, if you, if you do occlude the, the objects, they, they will stop being tracked but they will immediately come back again once Tracker is then 
uh, well, the object is not occluded anymore. And as you can see, if you bunch these objects up against each other, track is still tracks them. It makes no mistakes. It just hangs on like this. I can also go on put them in a different order. This is not no big tricks here going on. Okay. So um, that pretty much shows you uh, how capable Tracker is. It just identifies each and every object individually, gives you the orientation and the position of the object, and lets you. Um, uh, let's you easily integrate this into your own uh, tracking software or third-party tracking applications. Thank you very much.